sparks. For us, at least in this one, and probably for Maus as well. Tough to prepare for a pick like this, especially, remember, Ents has gone away from their favorite pick of the first two days, which was Vertigo. Everyone from Ents, four players lined up outside the B bomb site. Valda investigating all on his lonesome towards bathrooms. He's got that P250. All the sneaky sneaky with the P250. Gonna try and make his way through the open. Ooh. Peace. Area. He does win it out against Torzi. That means he's got bathroom control to an extent. Hasn't cleared all the way through. Torzi had every chance to win that fight. Misses shots. JDC returns the favor. He recovers what his teammate could not. Two quick kills, two quick headshots. Exertions. Got to make a play. Got to get aggressive. Finds Volda. Oh, JDC is just a stud in this round. Give him four kills. Give him the pistol. One nothing. Not bad at all. As single-handedly pulls that one back after the opening kill. So no... Bomb plants and Mal's with the win. It means the T's pending a bomb plant this round won't be able to buy nearly as effectively. Are you chuckling along with them, Jason? No, it was just, it just, I was just thinking about it. Just what a weird round. Valda gets the first kill, but like there's, I mean, yeah, JDC gets these two shots, but there, there's just like no, this doesn't even feel like it was an actual hit in any meaningful way. It didn't feel like there was any power. I think it's because JDC literally killed three players before they could even get a shot off. So that's unfortunate if you're Ents, but for Mal's, they get the pistol. Another pistol. I think this is three for three in pistol rounds for them so far in this series. Uh, ow, ow, ow. No, Ents won the first and then got ecoed by Mouse. I think it was the other way. Oh, you're right, it was. I confused myself twice. You're right, it was 3-1 and then they went in the seven round run. And then in the second half, uh, no, they didn't win the second half because it went to 13 rounds and then the comeback started for Ents. You look it up, Jason. More no. downs. I trust that they went three for three. I feel like I was, I'm confident. All right, I'm looking it up because I think you're wrong. Taking it. No, oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll be right here for you when you're wrong. Well, Dexter out towards long, boost up at the sign. If Dexter goes down too quick, this this little stack at sign might be a little dangerous. This is one of those I've always mentioned. It makes me a little uneasy. I always see the worst in this setup. There's some shots fired from Dexter. Gets the first kill, traded off by Sun Pius. The stack still remains. They haven't moved out of it just yet. They've seen no one towards bathrooms. Damn it. I know. I don't wanna I don't wanna be here anymore, Jason. Gotta wake up early to to pull one over on me. I feel like I was probably out of bed before you, Mr. Watch one entire season of Ozark in a day. <laughs> Dia inside of the dormitory known as the lavatory. Did that yeah, that kind of works. That works. Yeah, Torzi. He's going to sit back with the FAMAS. Gets taken down, though. Some Pius with the shot on the scout of all things. And Frozen's going to follow that up as well. Snappy's coming around the corner. And you better... Oh, God. I'm sorry, Snappy. I shouldn't have said anything. JDC closing out the round against Volda. That was awkward. Yeah. That was awkward a little bit. Two to nothing. Nice job from Mal's. No reason for Sun Pius to think there's a second one there. Good spin around on a Snappy as well. Mouse handles it uh, very, very well. Ents' four spy does absolutely nothing. So a few upgraded pistols, no armor on the Ents' attack side for this next round. Should be quick work for these M4s and FAMAS. Dexter, made deep. It's gonna do a total of four damage. Shocking amount onto Madden. He's just looking back and forth on this. Not sure which way to peek. Could overextend on that as well, because they're going to come out from the stairs. Manages to get back into hiding. That's going to call Dexter out. Manages a good shot on two of them. But that nails Torzi in return. Thankfully, Dexter's not done. The Surgeon cuts another one apart. Vald is going to drop Frozen with the kill. The Surgeon? Where'd you get that from? Isn't like Dexter's not the show where he like cuts people up? and? He's not a surgeon, though. But yeah, he's a... Blood specialist. The mutilator. Crime investigation. Okay. Again, you watch more Netflix than me. The ice truck killer. You could have gone there. Actually, that's not him either. What we, is it? What is it? You should probably quit over. I don't know. <laughs> quit while we're behind, Jason. Like, let's just move on. 3 nothing for Mouse Sports. We do have guns out, and that means some Pius is on his AWP. The Bay Harbor Butcher. That's that, the one for that, Dexter. You couldn't remember that alliteration? <laughs> Got there eventually. Or did Look, they just take that out of the Witcher. Like the after Witcher after the finale, I started deleting things from my brain progressively over the years, so it's it's all good. Dia moving up. 
behind the smoke. Door is blown open. Exertion's gonna have a great angle when that smoke clears, but we'll have to manage two great angles. And that one's easy. Deha around the smoke gets dropped. Five on four for Mal's early. Towards the sees the utility thrown above the flowers. Ooh. Dexter just tucks himself into a corner. If he tries, ooh, this is dangerous. Oh, the no-scope. That's a tough shot for Sun Pius to hit, but there's a world in which he does. De uh, Dexter with a nice flank, and now he smokes them off as well. He's got complete control of the bomb. Beautiful play. This is going to eat a lot of time off the clock, and the bomb is far from any sight. No one can really do anything until Snappy has that bomb either. Madden is split. It'd be a one-on-two at A. Valdo is split off. It'd be a one-on-two at B. So they've got to get the bomb first. They've got to deal with Dexter. Oh, what a oh, it's jerk. Obvious, dude. This guy's, yeah, he is being an absolute thorn. And he's gone back up on this as well, so they might think he's fallen off given that, but no, take no chances here. The flash, and he's still fully blind, takes that snappy. Okay. All right. The Bay Harbor Brutalizer gets another kill, whatever it is. You were close. Thanks, man. I think Valda and Vaden obviously just have to kind of back off. This is an impossible round to win. They would love to grab Dexter right towards the end, but... Uh, it doesn't look like they want to risk their AK-47s either. There goes Exertion. Four to nothing for Mal's. Good start in this second half. So, good start. And we mentioned this is Ents map choice. It's more difficult to get things going on the T side of Overpass given how much utility is required. They've got to get some sustainable picks. Yeah, Snappy's a little bit, uh... He's like, how'd that happen, guys? What's happening? <laughs> Whose job was that one? Somebody, please. Tech 9's picked up around the rifles. Miss Molotov from Mouse. Adam's already made his way through Playground, but nobody's home for Mouse. They back off. Dexter even evacuating the stairs afterwards as well. So Torji with the op playing... That the divider is going to back all the way to the A-bomb site. Actually, a complete retreat of the defense with no pressure put on it. Torzi's going to try and swing this. Look long, and he finds Madden as well. Easy. Get the clean shot. Look at Balda. He's the next one up. Contact through the smoke. Might be activated by a flashbang, but Snappy doesn't have one. In fact, Diha's the only one with it, so Balda can't use anything. Balda tries to go for two. Couldn't do it. Exertion too close for comfort, able to swing out and get the immediate trade. Dexter's going on to the AK. And some Pius is actually running back off of this. Two Tech Nines and a Galil to make this round work. It's snappy. Even clearing water. That's how little map control they have. That's a default T-spot. Flashbang again for Exertion to peek through monsters. Sees nothing. Doesn't peek all that deep. Just looks to see if anyone's close. Frozen's up on the balcony, so there's a little bit of an opportunity to take out Exertion. If Sun Pius can win it, that'd be great. Good flashbang. Ooh, can't connect. Now Frozen has to drop in. He's under a lot of pressure. Got to be careful about ammunition as well. Essentially a 1v3 for the moment, and he's looking for his first fight. He's trying to find it, put the smoke down. Doesn't want to overcommit to the pillar side. Peek. Instead, though, he reads where Sun Pius is going to jump up from. And now, although the bomb's gone in, they've got the kills in return. And now Sport's going to find their fifth round in a row. Yeah, no big deal as well, allowing the plant to go down. Uh, that does give an extra 800 bucks over, obviously. And ends that puts a few players over the line, but I think they were going to buy no matter what. So just playing it smart, keeping three players alive. In fact, Mouse have not yet lost more than two players in a round in this half quite yet. Doing a very good job, very efficient on the CT side. Solid lead. Yeah, phenomenal start. Snappy's not looking too happy. No, I mean, look, when you add two new players in, like like Enz has just very recently, and obviously, remember, we mentioned this is the first one. That Molotov missed again. They might want to uh, address that. Yeah, I don't know if they even realize it just yet. Dexter might have the information now. But, I mean, it's going to put... Probably the most pressure, obviously, on the in-game leader, who's trying to marshal everyone with players who are unfamiliar playing together and unfamiliar with the protocols that Ents likes to roll with. I think they might be in a bit of trouble here. Even though they've pushed out to water, they've actually conceded that early kill on Exertion. Okay, this is a decent little boost. I don't think they're... Oh, they are going to see it. I didn't. I wasn't sure Dia was going to back off on that, but of course he was, because they've walked in for Monster. Now they know there's two out there. That's a boost. They killed one already. They have to retake the site, and Snappy's already crossed over. Vault is ready for the shot. His second in the rounds. Frozen, though, does get to heaven more quickly than they would have ready for. Madden has got the lurk, though. So this will be a long flank from Exertion. 
Yeah, Frozen is going to have to be a little bit frisky before Exertion's in position. And all they've really done, Exertion, he was already out toward water. By running back and then swinging toward Monster, it's not, I don't even think this is an element of surprise. This is a timing thing. They've yeah. already got this covered off. Yeah, not any longer, for sure. He was hoping that his teammates would be able to hold on a little bit more to keep attention away from this, but certainly you're right. When there's this much silence in the post plant, they're, they're going to be aware that all flanks are a possibility. Madden's even watching for the door. Exertion coming in. That's a big kill. They can actually do this, but ooh, Sun Pius stops Exertion from getting I in. I get it. I like it. Hail Mary just wants to go straight for the defuse. There's a Molotov there as well. If that had been chucked out from Frozen, and obviously that's a tough thing to coordinate in such, uh, such little time, but that could have been interesting. Smoke on the bomb, Molotov towards Sandbags, and maybe Sun Pius isn't able to stop that. First round for Entz. That came off of a fast play from Porzi as well, getting caught through the fence. Volda got the opening kill on that. And it kind of ruined their plan of going with two toward water and going for that boost because suddenly they were trapped out of their own sight. I mean, it's those, it's what Snappy and Volda, I think, were the ones who kind of just walked through Monster in that in that fashion was was huge when the defense had shifted over towards short. 5-1. Standard control for Entz. Nothing crazy at the moment. Dia's already progressed and cleared out stairs. Torji still with the off, and Dexter advanced for the defense in bathrooms to keep some space. He's gonna get some attention as well. Pretty passive on that side, aside from Dexter. He's not gonna have a ton of support. Smoke's gonna get down behind him. That's gonna cover off the doorway. And he has absolutely no information as to what's going on at long either, just Dexter. So I think he's pretty much in this one for the long haul. Dexter's lavatory again. Not that long. Yeah, okay, you're right. He gets removed pretty quickly. A short haul. But what a run it was. Ooh! Deuces. Okay, is this is a save. This is a save, and anything Snappy can grab after the fact is wonderful. There's even Valda still left outside of the B-bomb site. But no chance of rotating over to recover when the kills at A come out that quick. Second round for Entz. Or hold the phone. Yeah, it's not done yet. Being a bit slow about clearing out the rest of the A site, Frozen's down below. He's not going to be moving on this, so bombs planted. Yeah. And JDC, I think, is is a bit too out of this one as well. He's not going for the flank. He's rotating same direction. I think they'd already called it off at that point, and Frozen just a little hesitant to try and uh, get back and provide any kind of resistance, but, I mean, they, they seem to be reconsidering it. Low HP, JDC is not going to get very far away. They've pretty much got to leave now if he's going to go out for the bottom. So they are going to go for this. Molotov tags Sun Pius. They know where he was toward the truck. Secondary flash. Send the low HP player sacrificially. If he finds a pick, go on it. If not, Frozen will probably bail because he has high HP. And then not even that. They just realize they've got to get out now if, if they're going to. No money for the mouse side as well. These are the only two weapons they'll have in the next round. So Ents have done it. They've grabbed two in a row. They've decimated the economy, the bank of Mouse as well. Boom. Yeah, clawing back into this game, 5-2 to two now, and you're right, money now in their favor. May the gods be ever in your favor, Jason. Sure. Fist bumps all around. Sun Pius being very vocal. A lot of the chatter around his addition to the team has been around. ADC and Frozen, the only two that survived through the previous rounds. No armor picked up uh, on any of the other players. They've gone for one Deagle, Torzi. And Dexter on full saves, aside from a single flash that Dexter has. Stack towards the B-bomb site. Both teams seem to be, well, and seem to be heading at the stack. How long do they want to keep all five players here, though? One of the M4s in short to bait Torzi's jump. Ooh, gonna grab a kill. They're already through Monster as well. He, I don't, I'm not, I don't wanna say they're committed. Oh, wow. But they're pretty committed now. JDC still here, still chilling, looking for a way to get involved in the action, but sees absolutely nothing. Not able to do it. Oh, and steps into the flame. Yeah, that's a mistake. He walked one step too far, made noise. They should be aware, but look at the HP on the two players to his left. They can't commit to peeking him. 
because he'll just mow them down at this point in time. Surely they know it's the rifle. Dexter gets aggressive. Pistol, USP. He's going to find the shot on him. Madden as JDC holds his nerve in the line. It's a two on two. They can win this still. JDC has armor. Dexter doesn't. But some pious. Oh, he saw the shadow and he made no mistake on the shot. But the M4, a close of each. Misses one. He goes down. Some pious hits them both. Yeah, that was tense. You're exactly right. The low HP on two players from Ants. There was the ones that were supposed to be the aggressor. But no, going through that smoke, they would certainly go to their death. There's a chance there for Mouse though with that stack. Well done for Madden inside the smoke. Deha may be the real saving grace, eliminating Frozen, eliminating that second M4. And eliminating one of the ends of the crossfire. Three rounds straight for Entz. However, Mouse is back flush with cash. No kits picked up. Here we go, four man. Oh, oh Sun Pius. I hate to see it. The totem pole has been chopped down. It's like in Mario, you always aim at the lower cactus first. Really? Were you a sweaty Mario nerd? I wasn't. I never... Mario was the shit. I was not good at side-scrollers. <laughs> I never was. I don't know if I've ever heard Mario called a side-scroller before, but I guess that is what it is. Nice shot from Diha. Entrance into stairs. Wait, which Mario? Any of them. Pick one. Well, it was, it was a side-scroller, so... Some pious goes back toward the fountain. Dia. Checking out the underpass position. Two men looking monster. Exertion's going to be the first to swing around. We'll see with an incendiary that'll hold off sandbags, give them a bit more chance and confidence to focus on monster, and they've done that. They spot two. So they'll slow that down. 45 seconds. It's a flash. Dead the smoke. Oh, and that works out brilliantly. JDC gets two inside of it. God, that just neuters this attack, doesn't it? Even a little bit more damage on Sun Pius through the smoke. 30 seconds left. What is Ent supposed to readjust to do? They've got plenty of utility. Rotating back around instead of mass bodies through monster, two players coming up by sandbags. Sun Pius with the flash over. Dia wants to go, but it works again for JDC. This guy's the flash master as he gets his third kill in this round. Frozen's going to drop down. And it's all mouse in control so far. They went 5-0 up. They're about to find their sixth, having lost three in a row. They've got it now on the trade against Valda. Back into the winning ways, doubling up the score again. Great round from JDC, obviously. Triple kill, two through the smoke to initiate things for, for Mouse. That's beautiful. He's got 11 kills and four deaths. Frozen's right up there with him. 10 kills, one death. Leading the way for Mouse. Here we go, the broken totem pole. Yep. Ice skates. The look of disappointment. It's like, I'm not even mad. That's pretty sick from JDC. I'm not going to lie. Yep. Right. Ben's trying to keep it all buttoned up, but some of it's starting to unravel here and some of the difficulties on overpass. Torshi's going to push up, push up long with the AWP. Torzi aggressively looking around toward the slide, and he will take Madden down it. Volta gets a boost. Oh, oh God, they're not very good at these boosts, are they, Jason? <laughs> he saw one, too. If he gets up clean... The defense has just shifted as well to eliminate that danger, but man, that could have been an equalizing kill. Missed opportunity for Entz. KDC again trying to fire through the smoke and capitalize on anyone outside of the monster tunnel. trying to find the better angle up close on sandbags. He's going to be greeted immediately. Oh, I was going to say immediately. Exertion's backed off. They're trading nades. Passing them around so JDC can flash off Monster once more, perhaps, as a flash comes in his way. He's going to have to stay alive. Exertion, good opening kill. Volta and St. Pius, though. But they don't know Frozen's here. There's two of them up close. Frozen's going to find the first. He's followed that up brilliantly as the bomb was coming out in the hands of Snappy. And they know Volta's fought forward, but he's also expecting the arrival above Torzi on the AWP. Holding his line. But again, he would have known Volta was up close, so Dexter's trying to clear this. Double op retake. No bomb plant yet. Volta might have the upper hand on this if that bomb goes down. Well, if the bomb goes down, they're going to pin him to wherever he's planted, right? As soon as they should, they should be peeking now. Yeah, Torji, how will you get out of this one? Op on each side of the sandbags. Missed shot, but Dexter's got it. Well done. Fair enough. Yeah, they're on it immediately. Good crossfire. And immediately switching out of the double op. They're like, we've shown it. We don't need it anymore. Don't need it. Don't need it at all. Let's Forget not let them it. counter it. Seven to three. Four round lead. Things looking good, much like they did on Mirage earlier. Good shooting from Ents on the way in, but 
Sun Pius not ready for Frozen. Snappy had the bomb out in hand, and I think we'll see some more frustrated Ents faces as this continues. Looking pretty happy with it. Smoke it, monster. ADC's blinded, tries to fire in. Smart play actually go right back down inside of the pit rather than go toward the barrels and look for coverage there. Gets a kill, frozen and exertion come to his aid. JDC running out of bullets. He's running out of health faster, unfortunately, but so too are Valdis and Pius on nine. And I think, uh, I was about to say we're about to be on nine. It's eight. They got there quicker than I could realize it. So eight to three. I think perhaps the scariest thing about this half so far heading into round number 12 with just four rounds remaining is, is it feels like Ents is, is, I mean, especially with two new players, like the playbook just isn't isn't quite there. They haven't had enough success everywhere on the map. So they did win one of these on Mirage. Two tick nines, three deagles. And spreading across the map. Nothing grouped up. Pop shot's going to miss, but initial deagle shot's going to land. Good nade to hold Sun Pius back. Nine this time, running and gunning. He is down. Ooh, nice. not the time to reload. Get in the corner, son. There's coverage there. You want a pistol? I'll show you a snappy. He's got him. And Torzi backing off, nearly caught in transition. We'll get down some pious. Leaves them now in a four on three. A vicious jumping off. This is a near impossible spot to deal with for what Enz is bringing to the party. JDC is going to get down and find himself a kill. Flashbang, not effective. Deagle is, Madden's got a headshot onto Exertion. Another piece of utility out. JDC's got a new position and a new kill. Two in the round for him so far, and Volda's gonna swing out a little bit wide. JDC tagged, one versus three. You've got so much to deal with, and JDC ends it. 15 kills now for him as he's climbed the scoreboard. And he's killing it, yeah. yeah. A lot of multi-kills as well with him. That's, that's the bigger thing, he's winning his duels and shutting down the take it be time and time again we've seen the sprays through monster we've seen the jumping back in toward pit to give his teammates a chance to support him and playing a very solid defensive game right now 9-3 pretty quiet from the end side and again it's over at b that the bomb and the overall execution went down or the lack thereof i should say but the, the, the round itself well let's see if they go with the gun round they gotta they can open the playbook a little bit wider considering they've got all the utility and AK-47's behind it. Oh, Dexter, you clever girl. Not that clever. Okay, that was not weird, but uh, Valda. Using that smoke brilliantly. Exertion destroyed by that as the headshot comes in. It's gonna be Snappy and Valda that now head toward Monster Clean as a whistle as well through that shaft and Torzi tries to come back down in that direction he's going to see his elbow he'll make no mistake in the first shot but he's not aware they're up close with the second still he sets his aim and finds snappy and he'll back away some pious uh, business opportunity i think on the incendiary but some pious not willing to take that fight will fall off all that matters is that he's given the equalizing kills he's brought it back into a three on three even if he's low on health flashbang is coming out one more flick from him oh ho, ho, that is fast there goes dia and jdc has the off angle that's all she wrote torji the deliverance and it's 10-3 baby that is unreal yes they're loving it now on the mouse sports side getting into this one again this match determines of these two teams which will go two and one and this group wide open every chance that if you're in two and one you can make it through one and two i don't know i don't think it's going to be one of those groups like navi had where they got through a two and three that's ridiculous <laughs> yeah they'll take some of those I agree i i and i know that they said in the their their interviews that they and we're into just pistols here for ends right now but they, they want to if you're going to change one you might as well change two and i get that because one of the changes was forced upon you you were already looking at the other I don't know how I feel about changing two. And I don't just mean this from an in-server perspective and a rebuilding of team perspective, but if you're a unit, right? We're five guys. We're yeah. hanging out, milkshakes, burgers, that kind of five guys. Love but, that. Uh, if two of us leave, that's it's not the majority, obviously, and this is going to be a cleanup. It's going to yeah. be a mowdown. You have two more milkshakes on the table. That's, yes. Well, I'll drink those. 
<laughs> if you don't want to have them, I'll have them. But <laughs> this, this is an analogy, Matt. Go with it. Just complete it. You just run. To <laughs> no, the point is, you're suddenly down to just three of you. There's two new guys in the team. It's a lot to change. It's a lot of. Okay. If you change one, you still have four of you together. You could work all of bringing this this other guy in, and the atmosphere remains relatively similar. So it is a big change out of the server even if it makes sense in the server. And I, I've always thought two is a bit much to do it, but, but I understand. <laughs> this is like one of those like uh, middle school like math problems. It's like, you have five <laughs> apples. If you take away two, <laughs> how many apples you got left? You like apples? Because <laughs> I've got a number. Well, Malice have Ed's number, 11 to three. It's been just a single pocket of victory for Ed's, three in a row in the middle of the half. Other than that, it, is, uh, it has been bleak. Exertion's going to provide the opening kill from Sandbags peeks in towards door. And things will calm down from here as a man advantage for Mouse. At least we had five guys milkshakes instead of soggy in and out for eyes. True. Because I think uh, Ents might be in and out of this group if this keeps going this way, Jason. Well done. Some pious AWP staring at the bathrooms. Did he say, oh, I don't think he did. X-ray was turned off at the right time. Good job by the observer, because I was wondering if that silencer showed. I don't think it did. Either way, some pious hits the shot. Look how aggressive Vance is being as well, throwing caution to the wind. Torji can't get back in time, Frozen. Oh, he just sneaks through. That's a double all day long. He can get more. Snappy coming around the corner. Gets the headshot, but exertion. There's been plenty of time and plenty of smoke cover to get him into this position. Gap in the smoke is not going to favor Snappy and JDC peaks the perch. Recent roster changes, and it's come apart here at the seams. And this is a, this is now kind of a a problem for Ents that we've seen throughout this group stage. Is they don't really have a map yet that they're comfortable picking and playing against some of the best teams in the world, which does make sense. But it's put them in a huge hole here. 12-3. Mal's 100% so far on pistol round wins. Yep, I, I look, I still got it here. Right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely true. And and surprisingly, Ents as well. I've been calling out the, the T side execution, especially on, on Vertigo as well. They had a decent T side on Mirage of all the maps, and we'll see if they can maybe turn things around this time on the defense because they oh. didn't get much going at all. So far, this one's not going to be going well either. Exertion, quick clean kill. Diaz going to back away, having got the trade, though, as he did so with Dooley's four on four, but they're approaching very quickly on the way. Volva's going to be surrounded no matter what. Even if he found that kill, he was completely overextended. It's Madden that has to rotate around from the oh. bank, and Torzi finds him as well. Okay, and Dia and Snappy wanted nothing to do with that fight from stairs, so they had to rotate all the way through the B bomb site. They're going to be blocked off. There's no kit, and the Dooley's are bailing out already. Snappy's Diaz there. Tia's going all the way around. Yeah, he's he's just called a save. He's already gone through short tunnel as well. <laughs> okay, he's, like, he's not even flanking. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I like these duelies, man. I was like, wait, is he going to try and go upstairs like ultra late? Snappy's still... Uh, that's, that's a bold one to make. Snappy I mean, wants a couple frags. You go 13-3 now as a result. I mean, I don't think they're winning this round regardless, especially with no kit, especially with, obviously, as they would have known, the plant spot is going to just be so strong for the positioning of Mouse, but it's just, it's just fun. Boom, shakalaka, 13-3. Yeah, <laughs> you call a save in that situation. <laughs> like, hey, guys, we're down a lot of rounds here. I know I got two of but uh, catch you in the next one. He's like, all right, Snappy, bro, hold on the fort. I'll be back, I swear. I'm just, I'm just going to five guys to get those two leftover milkshakes, bro. <laughs> he left the milkshakes on the table. I'll be back. Well, three to go now for Mouse to wrap up this series. Ten-round lead. Molotov down. They're going to run right through it. No problem. Exertion not bothered by that at all. Four damage is all he took on that. So he's at the tail end of that tick. Some pious deagle needs to be aware of the close position. He's actually going to hold. So he's not going to swing for the headshot. He's just going to hold to make sure no one walks by him. Now, can he pincer on this? Probably not, considering the positioning of his respective teammate toward A. Look how, quiet they're, look how quiet they're being as well. There's nothing to spring the trap, if that's what they were looking for. Frozen? He's the one in charge of watching the flank. You imagine he's just going to turn his head at some point. Sun Pius coming in. If he makes a noise, it's going to give away the game to Frozen, who's not even thinking about long as a point of danger. Ooh, oh, and he missed him. 
Now he's got him. Now he's got him. Deagle works out well. Can't transfer over to Torji. And Dexter, meanwhile, with the MAC-10, has cleared out the initial defense on the bomb site. And again, Entz might be in a situation where, without any real chance of uh, coming back into this and retaking this site, might be another save call. Mamba from Moss this time on Snappy. They've got head armor on both No kit, no utility. Match. Yeah, I think I think this this one's definitely justified. The problem, man, and like you say, now it's 11 rounds, 14-3. Not looking good for Entz. Uh, we'll see if the save can yield them. They're, I mean, next one you gotta go for, no matter what. I mean, there's there's some there's some scenarios where you, that you're just like we we kind of have to force the issue, and this is just about at that point. But I, I mean, you re you really have nothing nothing to make you think it's even possible. It's even doable. No utility, no kit for the post plan against four players. Mouse could take their hands off the mouse and keyboard and still win the round. 14-3. Looking pretty comfortable over there. Dexter on the end. Valda on the end this time for Entz. ADR, man, oh man, look at the ADR on the mouse side right now. The lowest ADR is 70. Did I read that right? Because that's- You did read that right. The you, last you map- You read the numbers correctly. The last map, the highest ADR was 70. So that's actually insane. That's how far ahead they are right now. Everyone's just wrecking all events. Diha with a chance. It's a fast move in Mac 10. That's a double dink from Diha. JDC does respond. More than happy with that sacrifice. I know there's still dangerous weapons on board. From Austin, play for Entz. Scout and play on some pious upgraded pistols. Snappy on the grates, trying to use that texture to blend in. Molotov's over. He can see it. Can't land. It's. Typical Famas, just good for nothing. <laughs> Slides back into the site. Madden's got to rotate around. He's got the 5.7. Flash hits some pious through the shelf. That's going to let them get a little bit closer, but the 5.7 does the job. Getting closer just lowered them into a false sense of security as Torzi takes down Madden as well. So pious though, finds him with the scout. Hang on, two on two, making it a two on one. And JDC trying to do what he can in this situation to keep Vald out of it. Make sure Edge does not find a round in this half. It's 15 to three. Yep, 12 chances to close out this series, 2 nothing. Mal's looking great. That's an understatement. So, Entz, this is the last gasp, the last fight. Fully invested, they have an off, they have four M4s, but they have no more mistakes, no more room to give. Mal's looking to uh, move on to 2-1 and one in this Group C at ESL Pro League. Round 19. Off shot missed by Sun Pius, a little bit blind. Torji gets the immediate trade. Puts Diha in a weird position as he's getting boxed in from below, but it looks like he wants to stand his ground. Oh, missed shot, couldn't quite get there. Dia over the top though, comes back around with that M4, finding two. So Entz had control, had control. JDC's got Snappy back through a very damaged door at the bottom side of the underpass. I think Snappy's feeling real uncomfortable having to kind of micromanage more than he would like to in this team so far. This has been a very rough map for him. Now, the one thing that has that they can be happy about in this round is the bomb is all the way back towards T-spawn for Maus, so... I guess they're just gonna go forward and see if they can take over the bomb site. but Dexter's gonna fall back now, so a little bit of utility spent. Dexter walking to be cautious. This is buying time, and all events has rotated over. ADC and Frozen still being passive. Another smoke inside of the B site. But still no presence, still no noise. No one is going to be susceptible to that nade on the plant. Madden sneaking back through toward jungle. He's going to be caught by JDC. Making it now a two on three. Valda Dia, the only two remaining for Entz in this game. Trying to get the nade onto Dexter. The double nade, and neither of them do much, to be completely honest. Behind the sandbags, frozen.